and sharing my painful experience with you. Allow me to give a brief opening remark for this very important session. On behalf of the Minister of Health, I wish to thank all of you, most especially the organizers, for inviting me to participate in this very important conference. And the team is timely, counseling for mental health. As you are aware, ladies and gentlemen, many people in Uganda suffer from mental health and psychological, psychosocial problems. More than 80% of people are really mentally sick. They have mental disorder of various degrees and they need our help. And this is one of the conditions that has not drawn a lot of attention. The person can work fruitfully, contribute to the community. However, the person may be mentally sick. So for that matter, those problems, they often involve feelings of sadness, you get stress, Many problems are due to personal and social problems. Sometimes it is reaction to events of life. Sometimes it is physical illness, as I went through. Sometimes there are unemployment problems. So all these problems make us sick, mental to some degree. And according to one health organization, ladies and gentlemen, mental health is a state of well-being where a person recognizes his or her own potential. The person can work, can contribute to the community, can be able to cope up and handle with stressful life. For us in order, to function well, our bodies as well as our mind should be healthy. As we all know, definition of health. Health is not merely an absence of disease, but it is a state of complete. And that is why we are here. We are here because we want to tell the entire nation that counseling is the way to go. We are here because counseling for mental health is the way to go. Counseling can play, can play a role in assisting treatment of various mental health conditions, as we all know. Many people may not know that counseling can be used for a wide range of issues. Although it may be successful for illness, but it can as well be successful for many factors. I am happy that the president has just told us when we take our secondary school, the consumption of alcohol, substance abuse, and many other factors that can lead to depression. Uganda is among the leading countries with high alcohol consumption. Our people can take excessive alcohol, and at the end of it, they get alcohol intolerance, alcohol withdrawal, and they end up with depression. They end up with problems affecting the organs, including substance abuse, and all these can be handled if our counseling is effective. And ladies and gentlemen, it's against this background that a conference like this, which has brought together stakeholders from different regions, from different places, we are here to share experiences, to use research to inform our actions, to use research findings to inform our interventions. And we are here so that we are in position to 
address some of the psychological and social challenges that come along with mental health. And I want to thank the organizers once again for this very important conference. As a ministry, we will continue to work hand in hand with all the various stakeholders, most especially the association, to ensure that the work of counselors are recognized in the country. <laughs> Oftentimes, counselors and social workers are not recognized. I want to pledge a commitment to work towards ensuring that the work of the counselors are put in intervention plans for the mental health care so that when the patients are given treatment and finally they recover and they get back to their community, they can easily settle with the help of counseling. I want to believe, ladies and gentlemen, that this conference will provide a significant contribution towards management, care, and treatment of our mental health, mental cases. Most especially those in the community, as well as those in the hospital. As I conclude, I want to bring this to your attention. Most families in our country, they are mentally sick. They've got some degree of sickness. They need our support. We see no love in families. We see challenges in child upbringing. We see conflict in families. We see gender-based violence, child abuse, child neglect, and all sorts of negative happening in the family. Why? Because there are some problems, which problems may be associated with mental disorder. And for that matter, I want to call upon the association we should also take interest in counseling family members, most especially the couples, so that we see love getting into the family. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I once again take this opportunity to thank you for putting aside your time, for being here, sharing best practices, the challenges that you've gone through, and how to chart a way forward. And I also want to thank the organizers for this conference and all those who have supported to ensure that we are all here. I want to thank the president, of Uganda Counseling Association and all the leadership of the association. And I want to thank the keynote speaker who will be sharing with us the keynote address in this very important conference. And it is my great hope at the end of this conference, all the recommendation and all what has been discussed is brought to our attention so that Appropriate attention is given to counseling as required. I want to thank you all once again. And at this point in time, allow me to wish you a very, very fruitful deliberation in the next two days plus today. And officially, I take this opportunity and honor to declare this three days conference open for God and for God.